Uh, my name is Katja Leindecker. I'm a PhD researcher at Northumbria University. I'm also a chartered environmental engineer. And um, yeah, uh, coming from Germany you know, to Newcastle, this, this is where I came from today as well, you know, 20 years ago, I was quite um, astounded by you know, the, the way we do transport differently in, in this country and you know, eventually also got myself into cycle campaigning. So I'm, uh, you know, together with uh, friends as well as you know, a huge membership, uh, run the Newcastle cycling campaign um, in Newcastle asking for better uh, cycling facilities, um, cycling provision um, and mostly of course uh, you know, separated cycle space on main roads. And, and do you think initiatives like that will help get more women into cycling? Um, I think we, it's probably worth asking whether that's the ultimate aim or whether that's a step towards something. Because I think if we make it the ultimate aim you know, for more people, may that be women or you know, may that be eight-year-olds eight or 80-year-olds to cycle, may that be women or men, is, uh, is the really important thing. And the question actually is um, how we go about doing that. And so, how did you find today? Were there any uh, parts of the conference that you found particularly interesting, or people you met that, that were of interest? Oh, it was you know an amazing buzz. That's it, it's nice to actually turn up. You know, I, I, I'm just coming out of a, an extremely kind of male-dominated kind of work environment um, as an engineer. Um, it's not so much that anymore now with my PhD research, but uh, it's, it's really, it is a really nice atmosphere that you walk into and, you know, it's, it's almost immediately the competitiveness of us all is taken out of it. And there's a lot of, um, you know, talking and brainstorming and, and sharing going on. So, no, it was absolutely fantastic today to, you know, get together with like-minded people and discuss, you know, how we go about um, this kind of transport transition, which you know should ultimately lead to people leaving their cars behind, starting to walk and cycle more, and you know, of course, for that uh, you know, to happen, we, we need to discuss. And that was the, the workshop that I was leading today. Um, it, we have to discuss, you know, the, the way the city space operates, and the way the city space is, is probably way too car dominated at the moment. And um, to think about how, in the future, we could do cities differently. Are there any uh, ideas that you take away from today? Some, some, you know, new thing that you came across? Yeah, I think the important thing um, for me today again is, um, you know, it's, it's good to get women together because they really rub their heads together. You know, really, you know, start sort of buzzing things about and, and sharing. Um, what um, I, from a cycle campaigning point of view, would really like to see is, you know, for this group. To, to become a lot more coherent and a lot more clear in what they are asking for. And by they, I mean, you know, women. Um, because it's not just us getting here together as women who already cycle. You know, we should also be thinking about that there's, you know, actually the, the vast number of us aren't cycling. And, and we have to start think about and discuss why that is and take those voices very, very seriously as well. Because, you know, what, what you increasingly um, hear if, if you actually listen and you, you peel back all sorts of stories that you hear, it's not the showers that aren't there, you know, when, when they cycle to work. It is actually the safe route to the workplace, which currently isn't there. So it's, I think, important for us to, you know, talk about these kind of, it's the bigger picture, really. And, you know, to, to teach people almost, to teach people almost, to, to pan back and say, you know, this is your urban environment. You know, whilst you might be not the one, you know, carrying that curbstone that's getting shifted, you know, to make space for a bike lane, it's for you, who have, you know, for you to start talking about it and for you being, you know, visionary about your city and that the, the future might be entirely different and actually a lot better than, uh, um, than the present. Okay. Thanks. That's been really helpful. Is there anything else you'd like to, to add? I would like to see this happen again, and as, as my friend um, you know, Sally Hinch, Hinchcliffe mentioned, it would be absolutely great, you know, having seen a room full of women, you know, articulate and uh, you know, so into talking about cycling and you know, making that transport transition happen. We don't ever want to see you know, a cycling conference without at least one woman on a panel. Thank you very much.